you want to add something to it. Excellent job. Okay, so Miles says that adding means we add something to another. Who can tell me another way to describe adding? The reason is yes. Okay, so you're saying that we're going to add two different numbers. Very good. Now, when we add two different numbers, what is this symbol called? Does anyone know? Just wait for one second. Okay, Joy, can you tell me what that symbol means? Plus. So plus means we are adding. Very good. Now, there's another important symbol we need to know. Does anybody know that symbol? Kara. Equals. Where does the equal sign go, Kara? Okay, so when we have four plus three equals, what comes always after the equals, Kara? A number. A number. Very good. And can anyone else tell me what else comes after the equals sign? Yes. Seven. Okay, the seven, which means it's the answer. So after the equal sign, we get to the answer of seven. Very good. Okay, boys and girls, I'd like you to make a circle quietly, please, so we can try and make the number seven. Oh, I like how my circle is forming. Move right back so everybody can be in a circle. David. Ava, can you find a spot, please? These are hoops that I found that we're going to use to count our numbers. They're called hoops. Okay, boys and girls, I'm going to set out some coins and we're going to make a number sentence. Ava, can you sit back just a little bit, please? Okay, so... So if we look at our two circles, we're going to make a number sentence with our two circles. So who can tell me how many coins are in our red circle? I want to see lots of hands this time. Peyton, how many are in there? Zero. Zero. Very good. Okay, so we're going to start and we're going to go zero plus. Now, who can tell me how many are in the blue hoop? Yes. Uh, Chris, how many? Seven. Seven. Okay, so boys and girls, if we add zero and seven, what does it make all together? Yes. It equals seven. So boys and girls, just like the last time with the number eight, we're going to find different ways to make seven. Now, I heard one of my students say the word all together, so I'm going to put that up here because another way to say adding is putting things all together. Excellent. Okay, so who is, wants to be my first volunteer? Okay, let's see. Okay, my dear Cece, I want you to go change the coins in there and make seven for Mrs. LaForest. Okay, take a seat. Now, Cece, can you tell us how many are in the red hoop? Seven. There are seven in the red hoop. How many are in the blue hoop? Zero. Zero. Does anybody notice something that's similar between these two? Yes. They're the same, but we change the numbers, right, Joy? 
Very good. So seven plus zero equals seven. Okay, I'd like another volunteer to come up and make a new number sentence for us. Ava, come on up. Okay. Now, Ava, what did you do there? Use your words and tell us what you did with the coins. The seven and the blue one and the small one, the zero and the, the red one. Excellent. Now, boys and girls, does anyone notice that that's the same number sentence we have up here? We want a new number sentence. Go take a seat. Nice work, Ava. I need a new number sentence. Kara, come on over and help us. Something different than these ones. Okay, come on over, Kara. So can you tell me how many coins are in the red hoop? Three. Okay, can you write the number three please for us? Can anyone think of like real life And what are we going to write after that? Excellent. And how many are in the blue hoop? Four. Excellent. And what's the answer? Seven. Excellent. Boys and girls, can anyone notice something that's happening with all of our answers? What's happening after all the equal signs? Let's see. Kara, what do you notice about these numbers? They're all the same. That's right. So because our special number is seven, all of our answers are going to be seven today. Very good. Okay, I need another volunteer to make this up for us, please. Okay, Joy, go ahead. Oh, so she changed it up here for us. Okay, so boys and girls, to help you out a little bit with figuring out the hoops, I'm putting this down for you. So red number is always what's in the... Ava, can I have you back here, please, paying attention? So the red column means anything that's in the red hoop, and the blue one means what's in the blue. Okay, so Joy, can you tell me how many are in the red hoop, please? How many are in the red hoop? One. How many are in the blue hoop? Nice work, Joy. Excellent. So can you read that number sentence to us? Friends, please move away from the paper so it doesn't make a noise. Sit down, please. Okay, boys and girls, let's look at the number seven with what? What is this thing called? What is this thing called here? I'm looking for quiet hands. Ava, can you sit back, please, by the, by the machine, please? Thank you. Who can help me out with what this is called? David. It's a 10 frame. So boys and girls, we need to figure out how we're going to make seven on the 10 frame. So first thing I want to do is I want to ask you a question. By looking at my 10 frame, how many are filled up? How many are filled up? Ariana? Five. Five. How did you know that, Ariana? Because half is full and down is not full. Excellent. When it's half full, it's five. Very good. When it's full, it's? 
10. And it means, boys and girls, we don't always have to take as much time with the counting. So I'd like someone to come on up and help me to make this seven. Let's see who I can ask. Lillian, come on up, please. So how many are on my 10 frame? Five. Excellent. Take what you need and show me how to make seven, please. Okay, so how do you know that seven, Lillian? Um, uh, mm, I just think. Just think it is. So how many are in this row again? Five. And then if we count, what's the next number after five? Four. After five is six. six. Seven. So we have seven there. Did we have to count all the way from the beginning, Lillian? No. Why? Who can help her out? How, why can we, why don't we have to count from the very beginning, Kara? Because the, the top is five. And we already know it's five on the top. Very good. Excellent. Okay, so boys and girls, I want to show you. This is our number seven here, boys and girls. I want to ask you what would happen if I took away two. What would happen to my number? So if I have it like this, boys and girls, it is seven. Right, boys and girls? It is seven. Uh, Cavalia, can you come on up and help me with this, please? Can you please take two away? Take two away. Okay. Let's move those ones back up here to make it a little easier. And what do we have left when we take two away from seven? And how do you know this is five, Cavalia? Right, so when it's half full, it means it's five. When it's full, how many is it? It's ten. Very good, excellent. Thank you. Can you sit down, please? I'd like one more helper to come on up. This time I'm going to make it uh, even more challenging. Okay, let's see who'd like to come up. David G, come on up. David G. Can you take three off of here, please? Can you take three chips off of my 10 frame? Okay. okay, how can you arrange them so we can figure this out easier? This looks a little confusing to me right now. How could you make it so it's more, it's easier to understand? Okay, you know that there's four. If we put, boys and girls, I want all eyes up here. If we put all four of these together like this, we know it's not quite five, but if we take one away, it is, say it with me, four. Very good, excellent. Okay, take a seat please, David. Okay, so boys and girls, I want to do two more number sentences and then we'll finish up for today. So, who else can tell me another way to make seven? I'm looking for a friend to help me out here. Someone new that hasn't been up yet. Sophia, come on over to the hoops. Can you rearrange them so they're a little bit different, please? Thank you. Okay, come on up, Sophia. Can you tell me how many coins are in the red hoop? How many are in the red hoop? Okay, can you write down the four number right there for me, please? 
Nice work. And how many are in the blue? There's three. Okay, go ahead. Now, do you remember what goes between the four and the three, Sophia? Good girl, plus, very good. And what goes after the three? Who can help her out? What's this symbol called? Do you remember, Sophia? It's okay if you don't. We'll find, we'll have someone help you out. Kara, what's this symbol called? Equal. Equal. So can you put an equal sign there, please? So can you go over to our hoops and count for us, please, and tell us what the number is? What's the answer? Good job. Come on up and write it. We got the same answer again. Excellent. Okay, take a seat. I would like one more person to come on up and put five in one of the hoops and another amount in the other hoop. Who can help me out with that? Bennett, come on over. So Mrs. LaForest asked you to put five coins in one <coughs> hoop, okay? And then the other hoop can have some other coins. So how many coins are in the red one, Bennett? In one, two, three. Okay, so what do we need to do to make it five over here? What can we do with the coins from the blue hoop to make it five? Maybe we can make five. Okay, so bring one over. Bring one over to the red hoop. You can put it in the red hoop. Can you double check that that's five? Can you count it for me, please? One, two, three, four. Oh, just count one more time. Nice and slow. One. One, two, three, four. Okay, now can someone go up? He's just skipping one. He's just skipping one. Joy, can you go help him with the counting, please? One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so we've got five in our red hoop. Take a seat back there. Um, oh, wait for a minute, Bennett. How many are in our blue hoop? One, two. One, two. Okay, so there's two. Five plus two equals, remember all of our answers have been? Seven. Seven, very good. Okay, Benny, you can take a seat back. And I just wanna say one last thing before we finish up, boys and girls. What this shows Mrs. LaForest is there's many different ways we can make seven. There's not just one answer. There's lots of ways we can do it. So that's really important when we learn our math and numbers that we... Different colors. Oh, I made it different colors, yep. But really most important is that there's all different ways that we can make seven. Boys and girls, what a great number talk that was. Joy, do you have something to add? Oh, Joy says, like these two are the same but switched around. These two are the same but switched around. Give me a high five for noticing that. Awesome. Boys and girls, what would be the opposite of this one? Who knows the opposite of this one? Yes, what do you think? That one is not the same as that one. Right, these two, these ones are different. So if we wanted to switch that around, where would the two go, Joy? Two. Plus. Five. Right? Equals. Right. Boys and girls, that was amazing. Great job. Can I have everybody take their right hand? and give them a pat on the back, give yourselves a pat on the back. Thank you for sitting quietly.